largest dinosaur that's ever been found. The animal called Amphysis fragilis. And you said it's one of the biggest to ever roam the earth? Yes. Okay. And was it ever found possibly in this area of Georgia? Okay. <laughs> yeah. The problem with dinosaur remains is it's a one in a million process. And on top of that, we have only a small bit of the total history of time preserved at this surface. So what's exposed here in Georgia today is actually mostly sediments that were laid down in the last million years. Right. So even if the dinosaurs like this were here, they'd be in sediments that are thousands of feet underground. Right. But we also know from you know, core samples and a number of things that uh, the shoreline of the ancient continent was somewhere between here and the uh, hills and mountains of, of uh, northern Georgia. So somewhere between there and here, these dinosaurs could actually be walked. Right. We just don't know where. Right. And how long does it take for something like this to, to be made and to come into fruition? I know we're seeing it, it's, it looks like it's going to be huge. Yes. It's 135 plus feet long. Wow. And we were chuckling because we showed up here Monday and just it happened to be three years to the day from when we first carved a piece of this animal. Wow. And what was that moment like? Three years and now it's back here, you're putting it together. Well, it is a bit nerve wracking because <laughs> the whole thing was built in a mechanic shop with a 12 foot ceiling and only uh, 40 feet in length. So this is the first time all of the pieces we built have actually been put together more than a, a couple at a time. Wow. So you never know until you actually put it together if you got everything right. Right. But uh, <laughs> it's going together nicely. And we have uh, a lot of, uh, I guess the, to answer your question, it's a bit scary. It's a bit exciting. It's, it's a whole bunch of active emotions. Right. That's a good question. The Flint Riverside District will open. Our goal is end of March, early April. And for the people who may not know what this is or what this project is, can you give a little background? Sure, I absolutely will. Well, first of all, Flint Riverside District is one of the few districts designated in the historic district of Savannah, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And it's also the, it is also the entertainment district for Savannah. So in this entertainment district, it's going to have all the things you would envision as entertainment. When I first began this project and bought the property in December 31, 2012, first thing I did is invited 30 people to the Bohemian Hotel. And with those 30 people, community leaders, civic leaders, uh, people in business, I asked them two questions. The first question was, if you own this property, what would you do with it? The second question I asked, what does Savannah, Georgia need? I don't want to duplicate something that's already here. I wanted to bring something new and vivacious and entertaining to Savannah. And they told us that we've made notes. And then from that, we had a second such uh, group and added some more city planners into that group and some more architects. Building on what we learned from the first group and then the second group, we then quickly laid out the layout of what this thing would be and the concept. And we have not changed it from day one, eight years ago. And we have followed through with working with two administrations, or two different administrations out here in the city, has been very supportive, I will say that. They've been very supportive and without the partnership we've enjoyed with those two administrations, Plant Riverside would it never have happened. Right. In addition to that, the monies and the income that will be coming from this development is a staggering number. We, we've done some calculations. We think it's about $30 million over the next 10 years, plus the, the multiple effect that comes from it, which is usually three times. 
Also, the county, we believe, will benefit about $9 million over the next 10 years, every 10 years from now, and it'll go up over time. So it's a huge economic uh, income for the city, huge. And employment, we were employed by 700 people here at Plant Riverside. And so it's, uh, it, we do a lot of training. So in Savannah, uh, some of the things we'll be doing, there's no one really trained for it. And so we're putting a lot of emphasis and money into training and working with other organizations in the city also that are in the training business, you might say. And so they've been very supportive and helpful in partnerships. So that's how we got to where we are. And then we have built it out as an entertainment district. So everything we do, we look at through the eyes of being, is it entertainment or not? Is it artistic or not? And so those are the things that we've really focused on over these years. And particularly, uh, as you know, we do have a hotel here, for the 19 room JW Marriott Hotel. It has, we have about 13 food beverage venues from small to large. We have 20,000 people retail. We have many of the local uh, uh, retail folks are now uh, leasing spaces to be a part of Plant Riverside, which we're real proud to have the local companies be a part of this. It's been very, uh, very pleasing to see that happen. And they're excited about it just as we are. Um, and then the whole story of the power. People say, why dinosaur? Well, we decided that, look, if you, if you want to do what we thought was also needed here, a museum slash exposition, we should do it about power and explain where does energy and power come from. And so where else is it better to do it than a power plant? So that we're going to be telling that story and have programs for kids and adults that will be entertaining and a learning experience. And so that led us into the whole idea of go back to 155 million years ago and let's talk about what was here and along this coastal area. Coastal was not exactly where it is today, but this whole region, this coastal area, it had dinosaurs even had elephants, which no people in Savannah would ever guess. There were elephants roaming on this coastal area. Actually, there are three species of elephants. Three species, the big, big, big ones, and medium-sized ones, but elephants were here. And actually, in the exposition, we will have uh, two mastodon cuts that are nine feet long. And that's, that's the kind of animal that would have grown also here along the coast of Georgia. So it's really exciting and for the children, we heard that from the people, we need something for the young people for the, to get them excited about coming to Savannah. So what do we do? We, we build a dinosaur, 135 foot dinosaur. All kids, including big kids, love dinosaurs. We're excited about it. And this will be the only dinosaur in the world 135 feet long, that actually will move. His neck will move. So when you check in at the front desk, it may be at one level, you turn around, he's moved. And you'll wonder, well, what is in this amount of water that I'm drinking, you know? So uh, it will be exciting. Uh, and we have so many different types of fossils. A Russian, a, a Russian Ice Age bear, a, a Ice Age tortoise from Florida. We have uh, meteorites, we have uh, Every kind of, uh, we have a huge copper nugget. Well, copper is very important, obviously, over history in transporting electricity. And so we'll tell the story of copper, and we'll have this huge copper nugget that weighs about 80, 90 pounds. So, and many, many fossils of all kinds, and many minerals of all kinds. So it will be a spectacle when all this gets done and all it gets uh, light. So, this is a place of entertainment. This is a place for families. A lot of emphasis. Three fountains. One of the fountains is designed specifically for kids to play in the fountain and for parents to sit around and watch and have the ice creams of their ice cold cold colors, a beer, or whatever they want while they're watching their children play in the fountain. So we'll have three fountains. Uh, we'll have live music on the stage. We do in the Martin Luther King Jr. Park, which we're very excited about. The big monument, which he should be recognized here in Savannah for his contribution to America as well as Savannah. And so all those things are happening. And so when it gets done, no one yet can quite visualize what this place is going to be. 
It's going to be an exciting place. Nothing like it in the United States. Only it's about a Georgia, a city that you and I both love.